Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. I thought I'd share with you my latest project. Um, I'm getting my uh, cargo trailer camper ready to go um, on some cold weather camping. And uh, I had a, a 280 amp hour uh, lithium ion phosphate battery I built up. Uh, this video is not about that build, but I will put a link in the uh, description below on how to build up a 280 amp hour cell from scratch. But I did that. I built the battery up and I put it in this 25 quart igloo container. And the reason why I did that is I want to be able to heat this thing uh, if it gets below uh, uh, freezing. So zero degrees C, it will stop, uh, or, or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, it will stop uh, charging. And uh, it gets below, I think, 10 degrees, uh, then you can't use it. Uh, and so I've had that happen to me actually out in weather where it got below zero one night, uh, 15 degrees up near the Grand Canyon, I couldn't charge. And then uh, later on, it got down to minus five, and uh, I couldn't use the batteries very much. So in any case, uh, what I did was I took those things, and I, I took this 25-quart uh, cooler. You can see the positive and negative terminals on here. i got to trim these off a little bit, but um, i got those coming through there, so the battery terminals and the trailer will hook up there. On the front, what you're seeing here, I got the uh, – I also put on an active balancer, a one amp, one amp active balancer. Uh, and then I've got the Bluetooth for that and the Bluetooth for the, uh, the actual BMS. On the front here, this is a uh, temperature controller. So if you open this up, <clears throat> you'll see the batteries are down in there. And, uh, and I've got them insulated. And uh, I've got on top here the BMS and the active balancer. And this is just some uh, the electronics I hooked up for this, uh, this uh, thermostat I've got here. Uh, what I did was I took uh, 65 watts, uh, four little... Um, Four little 15 watts. It's actually 60 watts total, but 15 watt uh, heating strips and attach them to some old license plates that are on either side in here to distribute the heat. I'll throw some pictures in of that uh, in the video. Uh, but it's all in here uh, and uh, it's all inside this cooler, so the environment will be controlled in here. Now, in the summertime, if it's hot out and I can see the temperature building, I can just open the lid up and be, you know, just fine. So this will sit in the back, um, basically uh, not in the heated section of the camper. And I'll have uh, be able to monitor via Bluetooth the situation on the battery, and uh, I'll be able to heat it in there. Let me show. You. So this thermal couple here that I got hanging out, this will actually go in the same place on the battery. The thermal couple for the BMS is so they're identical. Uh, but right now I got it out for a reason, and I'll show you. So I've got this thing set up to basically um, right around 10 degrees uh, Celsius to come on, and then go back off at 16 degrees Celsius. I'll probably adjust that a little bit differently, but I've got this water here with ice. It's 32 degrees or zero degrees Celsius. You'll see the thermometer go down. So I've got the switch. I put this on and off switch. So this thing then always on. Oh, you see that just came on. That light is the indicator that it's heating. And you'll see that this uh, thermostat's reading 2.1. So when I take it back off here, and you'll see that uh, put my hand on it, the temperature will go back up pretty quick. And uh, once it gets about 16 degrees, that light will go back out. Boom. So that's the control. So anyway, it draws about four and a half amps while it's heating, and uh, it'll it'll heat itself up. So I got to figure out what the best temperature to put the uh, sets sets at here, um, whether you know um, a little higher or not. But basically, uh, it comes on at uh, right now at 10 degrees C, it goes off 16. I'll probably adjust that, and I can turn the whole thing off of the switch right here. So I don't have no parasitic drain in the battery. Uh, I mean, most of the time I won't need this thing. Uh, but you see, it goes off. So it's not doing anything right now. Anyway, so that's it. So if you want to build yourself a four-season lithium iron phosphate battery that will heat itself uh, and uh, report function out to you, um, then you have this. Uh, I got this uh, smart BMS here. It's 200 amp, uh, along with this one amp active balancer, and uh, it does a good job of managing these batteries down here. And this is a, a two-day cooler, 25 watt or 25 quart. So it's uh, got good insulation built into it, and everything's there. The terminals are here. Uh, you can see how I put those through, and then I've got the on the out here, and I got to trim these off. I'll take my cut off and do that. Anyway, so that's my project for today. I want to share that with you again. I'll put uh, I'll put uh, a link in the description below on how how to build up a uh, 280 amp hour lithium battery, and you can at that point put it in any case you want. You don't even have to do this; you just put it in a regular battery case. But uh, in any case, uh, this is it. Talk to you later.